This AK-47 class is unstoppable in Black Ops Cold War. Yo guys, before we get into today's class setup, if you could hit that sub button if you're new, we are so close to 2,000 subscribers. And also hit that like button. Hitting the like button is the easiest way to support the channel, and it pushes the video out into YouTube algorithm so other people can see it. So to start us off with, we're going to be running 7 attachments, so you're going to need to go down to the wild cards and select gunfighter. The first attachment, we're going to be running the grease suppressor to stay off the minimap and for the 6% added to the vertical recoil control. It does take off 20% to the effective damage range and 15% to the bullet velocity, but we're going to be using the 20 inch Spetnaz RPK barrel to add 8% to the damage, 50% to the effective damage range, and 50% to the bullet velocity, bringing the damage all the way up to 41, the effective damage range up to 46, and the bullet velocity to 947 milliseconds. On the body, we're going to be using the KGB target designator for the 60% added to the reveal distance. On the underbarrel, we're going to be using the Spetnaz grip for the 18% added to the horizontal recoil control. On the magazine, we're going to be using the 40 round. On the handle, we're going to be using the grew elastic wrap for the 30% added to the aim down side time, 90% to the finish resistance, and to also aim while going prone. On the stock, we're going to be using the KGB skeletal stock. It adds 30% to sprint to fire time and 40% to the aim walking movement speed. I'll have a game over on Cartel for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Yo guys, before we get into the gameplay, if you could put down any of your favorite class setups, they can be bad attachments or they can be good. It all depends on you. I'm running out of ideas for some videos, so I need you guys to help me. So if you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. All right, we're gonna be checking out my new AK-47 class setup. I honestly don't know why I'm playing this map, but I hate this. Unless it's 12v12, then I like it. My god. I'm dead. Stun, stun, stun. Teammates, get on the hill, please. What? There's no way the AMPs are that bad. What are you doing? Trusting my teammate right there. Man is down. Where's he at? Oh my gosh, that was...
You know what? How's he not dead? Tango down. BDA one EKIA. Hard point identified. We're on a twenty one right now. Sorry for not talking. I just feel like I have to concentrate more on this map. Hostiles have the hard point. Oh, he he could have killed me. Easily. Wait, what? We only have 12 points? Bro, what are we doing? I didn't know we were losing this bad. I just got my head blown off. No, teammate, come on, turn around. Use your... <sighs> There's just no way. No, we need we need every little time. We got spawns anyways, so let's run over here. I feel like they held this too much. All right, teammates, at 10 seconds, I'm going to pop this nuke. Actually, no, we're going to run. No, get on it. Deleted him.
All right, we need to start running. Teammates, get on the hard point, please. Coming to help. I'm coming to help. We're making a comeback. We're making a comeback. <laughs> There's no way we would lose in five against four people. Like, what? It's almost like they're giving up now. The turn done. I don't know how I lost to that. We'll go ahead and call this in because they're actually flooding the hard point. We can't let that happen. Just need a full reset, everybody. See, this would have been much better if they had a full team. I could have, like, made this game even longer. Because we're already sitting at 12 minutes. Oh my god. The movement. That's probably going to wrap it up right there. Eighty-seven and nine. That was that was intense. GGS.